Right now, my brother and I are 48 and a half seconds into a dead hang challenge to see which one of us can hold on the longest. And if you're wondering why this is how I decided to spend my Saturday morning, I have to start a bit earlier. I have really bad grip strength. Like, empirically bad. I recently took a dynameter test and could pull well below the average for my age, which I'd love to just pass this off as no big deal, but a study from Harvard University actually found that grip strength is a particularly effective indicator of overall health and strength. And given the fact that I just spent 12 weeks trying to improve my strength and add muscle, it kind of hurts. So I decided to put together a three test system to measure my current grip strength and forearm strength. The first one being the dynameter, which I don't want to talk about that. Secondly, I measured and took some photos of my forearms to see if they have any change in size. It's unlikely I'll see much change in this area in just 30 days, but I guess we'll see. And finally, I timed myself with the dead hang. In addition to improving grip strength, the dead hangs also help decompress your spine, stretch your upper body, and relieve shoulder pain. 48 seconds. So I have three measurements for where my grip strength stands today. Now it's time to start my training. Outside of just dead hangs, I'm gonna be doing two variations of wrist curls, and I also picked up this hand grip exerciser. These guys are great because they're portable and you can use them while you're on the couch, reading a book, or working. And I also picked up some fat grips, which I'll be incorporating into my regular workouts, as well as using them for farmer's walks. I'm going through these exercises every second day for a total of three workouts a week. So today is the end of week one for this challenge, and one thing that I'm noticing is just how quickly I fatigue. I will dead hang for 45 seconds, take a quick breather, hop back on, and my grip strength will be completely gassed and my times will drop drastically. So what I wanna make sure I'm doing is not overworking myself so that I'm taking every precaution to avoid injury throughout this entire challenge. Oh. So to make sure I'm avoiding injury, I'm sticking solely with beginner exercises. And after my workouts, I'm incorporating some mobility work, finger extensions with a rubber band, and kneading my hands through rice, which was recommended to me by a friend who does a lot of rock climbing. Following this logic, I've been feeling some pain while doing the wrist curls after my first week, so I decided to swap them out for this dowel wrist roller that I built, which has been able to give me a really good workout without any of the wrist pain. So, brought the weights out to the park today, and I'm going to walk all the way there and all the way back here. I'm gonna time it, see how long it takes me, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The pilgrimage back begins. Oh, I'm losing it, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Oh, I hate this. I'm picking up speed in my walk. <laughs> I'm moving fast. I'm Usain Bolt with it right now. Ah, uh, life is hard. Existence is pain. Ow. Oh. And I'm, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my gosh. What was my time? Seven minutes, 40 seconds. Holy smokes. Ah, seven minutes, 40 seconds, eh? Ah, oh, sweet, well, definitely some room for improvement. Um, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> 
My forearms hurt so much this morning. <laughs> I did the farmer's walk yesterday and I slept last night, woke up feeling like someone had just like repeatedly punched me in the forearms. My hands are also, the calluses on them, they're cracking and peeling and like tender. So uh, I don't feel the best, but I'll take today as a break and hopefully tomorrow I can uh, get back to working hard and finish out this challenge strong. <laughs> as I'm approaching the final week of this goal, I wanna try and give myself a little competitive edge on the final dead hang. So I've come up with a way to make this a little more interesting through some good old fashioned sibling rivalry. Hey Cam. Oh, hey, you bald headed geo dude looking little bitch. Um, hi. Putting on weight again after your most recent ab challenge, are you? No. Well, listen, next week, I want your roly poly looking to meet me at the park, dead hangs. Last one to drop wins. Why are you talking to me like this? No backing out. So hopefully that helps. So the calisthenics park was a little bit busy this morning, so we came over to a local elementary school. The only thing is these bars are like a playground one, so they're like glossy, and I think they're gonna be a little bit more slippery, so I'm curious how that affects the hang, but uh, Brennan is here. We're ready to do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, now it hurts. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Kind of feel like the slippage is more... Ah. Bro! <laughs> Garbage. Garbage. Oh shoot. You just feel it slowly slipping the entire time. One minute, 11 seconds for you. One minute, 11? Nice. Wow. Good job, buddy. Let's go. That's sick. My hand slipped right off the bar. <laughs> um, I'm not so unhappy about that. Bro, you oh. dropped like a fly. <laughs> no, it's slippery. I just like, I didn't even like feel like I had, I could have held on longer. My dead hang improved by 23 seconds, which is almost a 50% improvement. As far as my dynamometer test, I made the mistake of overtraining two days prior, so I was pretty sore, but even still my score improved in my right hand from 78 to 87 pounds and my left from 76 to 78 pounds. And while size and visual comparisons were pretty minor changes, I still saw improvements in both arms. Overall, I'm really happy with the progress I made over these 30 days. I think grip strength is one of those areas that's easy to neglect in your training, but just by incorporating a few quick and simple exercises into your workouts, you can start to see real improvements pretty quickly. My hope is that when it's safe again, I can try rock climbing and other grip intensive exercises to see how much stronger I can get in these areas. Until that time comes, thank you so much for watching. If you want to help us appease the YouTube gods, uh, please leave a comment and that like button and as always make sure to set goals and stay swole <laughs> <laughs> nope that ain't it that's that's not the catchphrase anyway this video is sponsored by nordvpn i want to thank nordvpn for sponsoring this video because much of our work communication and lives for that matter have been moved online it's so important to make sure your online presence is secure and one way you can do that is to use NordVPN. 
NordVPN protects the data that's sent from your devices with military-grade encryption as it travels through servers around the world. This process allows for your data to be randomized and basically look like gibberish to any third-party observer who may not have the best intentions with it. So whether you're working from home and discussing confidential work details, doing video calls with friends and loved ones, or accessing private data, NordVPN helps keep your data secure. On top of the obvious security benefits with NordVPN, you can also watch regional content you may not have access to in your country. For me, I was choked when I couldn't find Whiplash on Canadian Netflix, but I was able to find it with my VPN, no problem. And that was a really great movie, I definitely suggest that you watch it. NordVPN has given Goal Guys viewers a special offer of 68% off a two-year plan with a free month if you use the code GOALGUYS when you purchase through the link below. There's also a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you change your mind, there's really no consequence. So go ahead and click the link below or head to nordvpn.com slash goalguys to protect your data and start browsing securely online today. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.